And we could have another COVID-19 vaccine to choose from if the FDA gives approval to Novavax. CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCreary fact-checking the reasons behind the need for this particular vaccine and the one group of people who could benefit the most from it. Reports this week point to holdouts who say they'd actually get the Novavax shot because of the way it's made, even calling it a silver bullet. But I spoke to doctors who wondered if that group is even big enough to make a difference. If this can help move a few people across the road to get to get a dose, then we're all better for that. There's one thing that's drawing some skeptics to Novavax, how it's made. Unlike Pfizer and Moderna, it isn't based on mRNA. Instead, it works kind of like a flu shot, using a harmless piece of the spike protein from the virus. For some of us, we're maybe hoping that there's going to be small, some small percentage of people who have been reluctant to get a vaccine because of, you know, the quote, newer technology of mRNA vaccines who might be willing. Dr. Cynthia Gay leads the Novavax trial at UNC. For months, she says she's been hearing from holdouts asking when they can get it. If you add up all the emails across all the investigators in all the different states and who've been doing these studies, maybe it's enough to make some difference. How many are there? It's hard to say. But we do know 19% of people across the country and 31% of those in North Carolina are eligible for the vaccine, but have yet to get any doses. It's a little hard to, to get a sense for how much that's really going to do. But, you know, I think at this point we'll take, um, you know, all the additional unvaccinated people that we can get vaccinated as a, as a victory. And there's one big reason why this vaccine could make even more of an impact in other countries. Dr. Gay explains what it is in this story online. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody.